everything out here. Is it just the Mass Effect relay? I want to try to get all the resources this time around, but we'll see. Alright. Off we go then! Grissom Academy it is! The state mission to draw Grissom Academy, Commission 2176, is to serve as a student pop a survey student population demonstrating excellence and passion for math, science, and liberal arts. Nice. Its entirety its entirely human student body ranges in age from early teens to the mid twenties. Although the fact is not heavily advertised, the institution also offers classes for students with biotic capability. A school's ascension project seeks to train those students and integrate them in a normal society. Interesting that you want to train that you want to integrate them in a normal society while you're up in a space station. And the society the society that you're in is not normal because it's a very big it's a concentration of highly skilled and intelligent you know, students, people, people their own age, and then adults, as, and like a few adults, but I feel like Grissom Academy should have more security than what it does, too. I've read all the Mass Effect books, um, except for the fourth one, which wasn't written by Drew Carption, who was the lead writer of Mass Effect 1 and 2. Fourth book is Peace Garbage, um, <laughs> written by some guys trying to make money with the Mass Effect name, but, uh, like, it's not even a good book. Like, if you try to, like, separate it from the canon, even though it's, like, trying... It mutilates canon, like, from the books, and it mutilates the canon of the books. It's it's even just a poorly written book on its own. So, anyway, that's my opinion on it. <laughs> but, oh, uh, who are we gonna bring? That's right, we haven't even outfitted Yavik yet. Javik. God dang, I'm... I like Yavik better, I don't know. I started playing Mass Effect 3... Did I start playing after I got back from Germany? I don't know. Or I was learning. I'm pretty. I was learning German, and um, the J's tend to be kind of Y, and I don't know what. Just the way like James is James, right? But Yavik for some reason that looked like a word where it was like the J is kind of a Y sound. I don't know. <laughs> uh, who are we gonna fight? We're gonna be fighting. We're gonna be fighting organics mostly, but with mechs. Um. Hmm. Oh man, it would be interesting. I don't know if Jack reacts exactly to like Liara or Edie or maybe James, but we'll see. We'll bring Yavik along. Get everybody outfitted. And we got a new. Oh, that's right. We got the particle rifle. Wow, it is heavy. Yavik, it's heavy. It doesn't need capacity at all. And I don't want that either. Nope, okay. Well, no. I think that the particle rifle looks pretty cool. Predator. Sure. And then Garrus has the Avenger. Shoot, I didn't really get a good look at the Vindicator last time. Avenger, kind of. We'll give you a capacity mod. I don't really want that though. I don't know. I know someone once was telling me that that's actually quite beneficial, and so if somebody has any tips on that, on, like, whether or not that's actually good, um, let me know for sure. Do you have the Mantis, the three? Let's see what kind of... Yeah, let's give you a thermal clip. I, I kind of want that. Sniper rifle, ultralight. Okay, we'll do that. 
no. Yes, that's fine. Me. I like having the capacity, and I like because that slows time for a bit. It well, that increases the accuracy. It increases the accuracy, but I don't think it increases, like, doesn't doesn't enhance aim. Maybe I'll maybe I'll try without the uh, the what is it the capacity thing. The Mantis three should have a decent clip anyway. Yeah, let's give this a go. All right, all righty. No, that's what I want. I want that. Right, I have that. We could reduce the uh, oh yeah, uh wow my read whoa whoa sixty two percent how'd that happen oh did I no the man did the mantis is the mantis way more now all of a sudden shoot the katana weighs more I think I enjoyed the scimitar do I have a I do have okay well I freaking need that I don't really need the capacity seventy two yikes oh buddy all right I do I want to play I want to play with the shotgun I want to I want to play with like meleeing and stuff a little bit more if I can I wasn't even against Cerberus it's not it's hard to do but We'll see. We'll see. I, I hopefully with the um with the increase in power duration, um I'll be able to keep the tactical cloak on longer and get in and out because I don't have as quick with Vanguard. You can get in and out quick, but hopefully tactical cloak is eventually going to help me with the you know getting back and in into getting back in and out of tactical cloak very quickly eventually. Okay. Do, do you not have... Right, because, I mean, it's kind of useless to get in that, but... Ooh, it looks cool, though. I like it. Look at that red. I never look at what it does to the actual weapon. Ooh, blue light. I like that. I like it. The damage isn't... That's right, because it fires like a continual beam, so the damage isn't very high, but the fire rate's ridiculous. Mm. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Oh, we gotta get Yavix points too. Concussive shot. We can get concussive shot fixed up. Power concussive shot. The properties of the active animal power enabling it to burn, freeze, just work for increase the damage. Woo! Hmm. Or we could do turn. We might need to actually do turn and rebel. Increases weapon damage bonus, or health and shield bonus. All right, what's this? Increases assault rifle damage. Increases power damage. Increases power damage of squad mates. Increases sniper rifle damage. So we could get sniper rifle and assault rifle damage, or we could do power damage. You know, I might actually give him the squad bonus. Increases increases blah, increases power damage of the squad mates by ten percent. Increases power damage by ten by twenty. <sighs> what does he have? Um, I might do. I might actually do the health and shield bonus, just because you can get wep wep. Well, dang, I can't talk today. You can get weapon damage bonuses as add-ons, but you can't get health and shield bonus add-ons. You know, and I'd like Garrus to stay alive. 
Oh man. I'm shaking things up. I almost usually always go for the weapons damage or the power duration stuff. But let's do that. Alright, looks good. Yavik. Yeah, uh he's got pull, slam, lift grenade. Ooh, lift grenade, that's good. Dark channel. Hmm. We're not gonna get we're gonna get like done with this and I'll be like, time to end the epo show. Boost biotic and offensive abilities, increase health and shield bonuses and power damage, and increase basically the same thing again. <laughs> Let's give him one of these. Increase power damage or increase health and shield. Wow! I mean, we can go from 30 to 50. What's his his health? His health is pretty good. What's mine and Garrus? So Yavik's only like a hundred below us on that. That's not bad. And his barrier is actually better. What's his powers again? Dark channel. Lift grenade, pull, and slam. Power damage. Okay, so we could increase. We could. Oh, we could do it there. We could increase power damage right there. Instead of weapons damage. Yeah. So it's like you could. Oh man, you could like get his powers like really freaking high up. Like his powers could be ridiculous. He gets squad bonus too? Jeez! Uh, uh, this is the only health and shield bonus he gets, so we'll give him that, but then we'll give him the power damage. Yeah, okay, let's do the power damage there. And we'll give him. Well, at least give him one on everything. I'm never- I had pull and slam and I wasn't super impressed with them before. Let's get- let's get dark channel pretty good. Increases- whoa. Increases the power, dear. So what does it do exactly? Persistent damaging biotic field effect transfers to a second target if the first is killed. Increases damage or duration. I might do duration. Ooh, we could slow a target's movement speed. Increase damage. Increase damage to armor and barriers. I might just do damage overall. And then I could do... I could get his duration, recharge speed, and damage all upped. Or we could just make it, we could, I mean, we could just, apparently you could just make him a huge powerhouse. Like, his abilities could, like, wow, you know? Like, they would do a lot, especially if you went the complete damage route on his uh, Vengeful Ancient. And then did increase the damage across the board here as well. Like, he would be a freaking powerhouse. As it is, I'm kind of, it looks like I might be playing it across the board. Which can be a good idea, but it can also not be a good idea, you know? It can also just be meh, average, you know? Um, I think I'll go with that. Um... I mean, I'm not- I think the slowing movement speed is actually pretty tempting. Cause sometimes when you hit him with something like this, you're like, legit, like, why aren't you, like, slowing down or having troubles, you know? They're just, like, powering through it. But we should probably... I always like the idea of slam. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, let's do slam. Recharge speed. 
increase the force or the impact radius. Because we, we could go with impact radius or force. And then, okay, so we could go impact radius and then force. Or increase the damage and force of biotic detonation by 50%. So is that... So, if, like, when it's done and it, like, explodes or something? Or you could, like, detonate it on your own? Hmm. Incapacitate a slam target for five seconds or increase the recharge speed. I li I'm actually liking the idea of... I mean, again, look at this. You could, like, make him a complete powerhouse and just buff up these abilities. I like the idea of it hitting a wider range... But also be have like having a real big slam, basically, and we can increase the recharge speed. All right, let's. Oh, I have enough. I could totally get this maxed up. Yeah, let's get that, and then yeah, that. All right, that looks pretty good. He's pretty heavy on the big abilities, but that's all right. What? Whoa, it is way early in the game for that. I wonder if it's actually gonna um, have me switch back at some point. Jeez. Maybe it's because I'm doing the Grissom Academy, or maybe it's because I have Yavik with me. I just... Interesting. That seems pretty dang early. Like, I haven't even really done anything. You hear my dog up there? I love him. I love him to bits. He's on a strict training regimen right now. It was very expensive to figure out that training regimen, but sometimes I want to murder him. But, you know, he is what it is. He's a... He's a slightly insane cattle dog breed mix. Three different cattle dogs, and I'm pretty sure that one or both of his parents... I, I adopted him from a shelter when he was a puppy. Pretty sure that one or both parents were working dogs because, gosh dang, he just... He's not one of those that was bred to be a pet, that's for sure. We did not know what we were getting when we got him. He's cute as sin, but I would not recommend an Australian Shepherd cattle dog. If you're just looking for a house pet, I would not recommend a herding breed at all. There's the folks who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Oh man, you got this? Not too many for us in a straight up fight. They must want this place bad. Receiving incoming transmission. Let's hear it. SSB Normandy. This is Kaylee Sanders, director of Kaylee! Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking base. And I like how Shepard just, like, takes There's command! There's cargo port I could probably open. Alright, we'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Joker, can you give me a diversion? Haha! <laughs> Smack him on the shoulder. Oh, boy, can I? He's like, oh, man! Been waiting for you to ask that for years! <laughs> Gosh, she's so pretty. Oh man. Oh man. Come and get me. <laughs> Did they get pulled in? I think they got pulled in with him. Because I know in, like, uh, Star Trek, if you're near a warp... Keep the shuttle in position. We'll be back. You'll get pulled in. It's actually quite dangerous. You ready, Yavik? Garrus? I've never brought Yavik. What? I don't think I did. I think I brought... Ooh, I don't remember who I brought last time. Yeah. I remember that. Just like standing there being like, awkward. Alright, what do I have on? I have my... Only 12? Oh my gosh, this is not good. I have crippled myself. I have crippled myself. Oh man, no, I actually... I don't think I can actually do this. 
I'm gonna run out of ammo. Shiz. Uh, let's see if we can restart the mission. If that'll let me go back into weapons and stuff. Because, wow, we used to, I mean, we had like a 40, unless, I mean, did it, did it refill my, my, it should have refilled my ammo and stuff. Oh, please, please let me go back to the freaking, thank you. All right, we'll do this really quick. So we brought Garrus, Yavik, which I think is going to be a good team. What is Garrus? Garrus has an assault rifle and a sniper. So if I take the pistol, or the no, I do. Do I want the pistol or the SMG? Uh, did I? Did I? Oh, I gave myself the Viper. Did I? Did I? Did I get? I think I gave myself the Viper or. Did I accidentally give myself the Viper instead of the Mantis? Do I want the Mantis or did I want the Viper? Shoot. Now I can't remember. I think I had the- I must have had the Viper before. It weighs less, the capacity is higher even just on its own. The damage is less, but... The fire rate is also higher, and I liked that. I might have actually accidentally switched over to the Viper, or to the Mantis. But then, but now I want to go by, did I? What does Garrus have? He has the Mantis. All right, um, wait, no, okay, hold up. No, oh, dang it, no! Dang it, I messed up. All right, we'll be right back, I messed up. Okay, there was a little bit of a mm, hold up there again. Got other things going on, but now, okay. I, um, with... I think I might have changed a couple things with, with Yavix. I got him the increase the power damage and increase power damage again. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna do a powerhouse on him, I guess. Because his health and barriers really are pretty good just on their own. And he had these two bo these two bonuses right here. So, yeah, he's, he's kind of gone the powerhouse route. And... Okay, good. So I had the Viper. Alright, because I, I must have accidentally switched myself to the Mantis at one point. Uh, Alright, good. Well, that was a whole lot of trouble for nothing. Commander, I'm locked in the server room around the corner. Okay. Server's troops are trying to get in. Get ready. Oh, and I did put on the, um, I took off the capacity thing and put on the, uh, looking through smoke screen and accuracy thing imaging. Alright. I can't scoot around. Okay. At least I'm... Oh, shoot. Oh, wow, that was a delayed reaction. Uh... Let's... Alright. Good? We good? Okay. Alright. We're just gonna be weird. I'm gonna have to get used to these guys' skills. Alright. Alright, it's us. Sanders, we're clear. It's me. Yo. Commander, thank you. Admiral Anderson always said you were the best. And with Cerberus coming Anderson's from Anderson's the best. I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than 20. Most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion spread. But a few volunteered to stay. Some are prototyping tech for the Alliance. Others are biotics. They've been training for military operations, working together as biotic artillery. You said something about Admiral Anderson. Yes, we met, God, what's it been? 20 years ago when he was a Spectre candidate. I was there when Saren betrayed him. 
David saved it was a my good life book. that day. He's a good man. I think it's the first book. He was on Earth when the Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off from most news. He's alive? Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the resistance movement. Good. If we get out of here... Well, just tell him to stay alive. A few months knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed. But the Alliance needs every resource it can get. And our students are unique... resources. They wanted to help. How could we say no with the entire galaxy falling apart? Yeah. I think that shows a good... Hang on. I've been trying to get communication. Good working. leadership on the adults' this part. There are students trapped in Orion Hall. Cerberus has us boxed in. They're closing fast. Damn it. Orion Hall? Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. I'll bring them back here and we'll make a run for the shuttle. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. She's a pretty engineer, you know, like pretty engineering typey, you know what I mean? You ready, boys? I'll get the door for you. It leads to Orion Hall. Woo! Let's do this. Ah! I don't think there's any way to go get him. I'm surprised they haven't like knocked him out. They're just like dragging him by his foot. Ah! And they didn't even see us. Oh, they've got like Cerberus logos. Uh, whatever. safe then get to Kaylee Sanders at security okay but my sister Sean is out here somewhere too I don't know who the uh, who the guy is like who the announcer is is that the way to go or Okay. Ooh. Nice. I don't know if I got that before. Stability dampener. There really shouldn't be any more, you know, between us and, and there, the back over there. And that's not playing dead, dude. Oh yeah, we gotta, this is one of those few times where you can like leap walls to progress. Nope, oh, that's not what I was trying to do. Ah uh, yeah. The instructor's log, the kids are getting better at this crap, but I'm worried. I don't think we've got enough time to pull this off and there's just no way they could really survive right there without way more training. Not that any fail experience at all. Do my best to get them ready. I didn't think I'd ever care this much, but I won't let anyone hurt them. They're my kids, mine. We know who that is talking. And if anybody gets in her way, just, whoever gets in her way is not gonna be good. Unshielded opponent approaches at 2 o'clock, shielded opponent approaches at 12. Both holding heavy pistols, most effective way to take them down. You chose shockwave, correct answer, singularity followed by warp. Any shockwave, shockwave is adequate against shielded enemy. Your barrier will hold long enough against. Bevy pistols for a singularity to catch both. Warp on the unstable biotic field created in the singularity is also an explosion, neutralizing both enemies. Singular singularity to warp. Ooh, ooh, ooh. SMG heatsink. Good, good, good. So they, I'm finding there's stuff I'm picking up here, and it's probably partially because uh these kids have been experimental. These are probably sort of experimental, you know, modules that I'm picking up. Oh man, saying their names. Oh my gosh. They've probably been processed. Dang it. Yeah, it is. Go. 
rush, dang it. Where are you at? Oh, I don't have anything on. I'm gonna put cryo on. Smack him. I can't use it. Oh, he put his shields back up. Uh, let's throw a decoy out. That's gonna hurt in a second. There he is. All right. Interesting. Okay. Whoa, 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 Garrus. Whoa. Yeah, you see the, the particle beam? Give me, dang it, I don't have it. Okay, there we go. Oh, no, I don't have it. Okay. All right, perfect. Stand away from it. Oh yeah, I could have destroyed their generators. See? It was a math genius. A math genius. And they just killed her. Like, she had so much potential. Like, you know, it's just... I don't know. Let's see what this shotgun does. Weight's about the same. Damage is up. Fire rate goes down, though. I need firing rate to be up for my shotguns. The weight is exactly the same. Interesting. Okay. Um, I'll stick with this for me. The scimitar, right? Nope, you guys don't have shotguns. All right. That was just something that made me really upset that I couldn't save her. Like, there's no way. To, I'm pretty sure there's no way to save her. But there's like so many people that die in war that could have been, that could have been something great, you know. And they just, it's a complete loss of life that is. It's just very sad. Uh, let's see what this one's like. The Matic. Weight's higher. Capacity's lower. Fire rate is lower. Damage and accuracy, though. Um... Uh, I might have to experiment with some of these. In the training, in the the, the 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 training place, the vector training place. Oh, okay. Excellent. Thank you. Ah, you're okay, kid. She's injured. If you wish to save her, act quickly, though it could delay us. Sean, can you hear me? How do you know my name? I saved your brother. He's with Kaylee Sanders at security. Can you get to her? Yeah. I just need to rest for a minute. Thank you. All right. I think, I don't know if Garrus was saying something, but then Yavik interrupted, I couldn't quite tell. Um, but I might actually see David, who we saved in the, uh, was it the Arrival DLC? Commander, I just got an emergency message from the students in Orion Hall. One of our instructors is with them, but they can't hold out much longer. Oh, they'll be fine. I have complete faith in who they're with. The little greenhouse for the oxygen going on here. Is 
There's just Jax just standing there. Point blank. Jack? Woohoo! Shepard. Oh, buddy. Your kids aren't don't have very good reaction time. And they're really going to risk using a mech. Jack must be having a blast, by the way. She gets to destroy Cerberus. Everyone get down. This thing's out of your league. Shepard, keep it off. No worries. I got this. I got it, Jack. It's all good. Oh, and I, for some reason, switched over to my shotgun. The students are still civilians. We need to keep the heat off of them. Yep. No problem, dude. Uh, uh, and we've got, shoot, we've got guys sneaking up, though. Uh, slam. Whoa. Whoa! I can't see the particle beams in my face! Let's see, can I get the... There we go. And can you get full? Nice. All right, got the little guys out of the way. Oh man. Oh, I, let's switch to disruptor. And let's also switch to the shotgun. Wait, I just switched to disruptor on um, not the shotgun. This is gonna be difficult. Wait. Uh, let me tactical cloak. Nope. Oh man, I just took like a freaking bullet to the face. Okay. Whoa. Oh god. I can't even see myself. Is this gonna work on you? Worked a little bit. Woo! No, 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 no. Woo, buddy. Hey, Rob. I'm trying. Well, if I shoot the engine back there, that might help more. Oh, shoot, there's more guys, too. Don't punch me. Ugh. Damn it. But at How least she didn't punch me with her biotics. Cerberus. You're not telling me anything I haven't told myself, Jack. Oh, you feel bad? 
Well, shit. I bet that's a big comfort to all the people Cerberus has killed. As charming as ever. Good to see you again, Garrus. It still looks like shit. Uh -huh. Okay, right now, all of you guys get my guys out of here. Your guys? <laughs> yeah. I guess so. I can't think of anybody who could care about them more. Well, I had some free time while you were off playing hero. I was a stuck in a room! I helped you. They offered me this. And apparently the students responded well to my teaching style. <laughs> the psychotic biotic. I will destroy you! Drink your juice, Rodriguez. You couldn't destroy wet tissue paper. Cortez to extraction team. The Cerberus cruiser is coming back. How long have we got? Two minutes tops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past them. Get out of here and back to the Normandy. We'll find another way off the station. Roger that. Good luck, ma'am. Shepard to Sanders. The students are safe, but the shuttle's a no-go. Understood. I might know another way off the station, but I need station-wide camera access. Can you disable the Cerberus security override? It's routed through Orion Hall, so it should be nearby. Sure thing! Let's poke Jack. Hey, let me know when we've got a new way off this station. The new you, Not Jack! Say, Jack. You look good. Yeah, well, maybe some of your attitude rubbed off on me. Uh -huh. I never had a family. And these guys... Anyone screws with my students, I will tear them apart. Yep! <laughs> students handling the war. How do you think? They're a bunch of teenagers. Until a few months ago, their biggest concern was getting laid. At the same, at the same time... You don't think they're ready for war? I don't think they have a choice. Um, I mean, Jack didn't have a normal childhood, but at the same time, she understands these guys more than maybe any other adult in some cases. So all this talk about biotic artillery strikes, it's great in theory. Maybe they'll get it together once they've seen some action. But... They'd be better off as support. Put them in the back ranks, helping with barriers and shit. I don't know. Have you told them that? No. They need me to believe in them. I did pick up a few things listening to your damn speeches. Yeah, Jack, Jack, Jack grew a lot. I actually really want to romance Jack because I think you'd see a lot of, like, because in Mass Effect 2, it kind of stops at this, especially if you're a girl. Your relationship with Jack kind of stops at this weird point where, like, you get so nice with her and then all of a sudden she's like, I'm sorry, I don't swing that way. Stop talking to me like that. And it's like, all I was doing was being nice, but it just stops right there. Like, there's nothing else to talk to her about after that. And it's like, okay. So it just kind of ends in a very weird place. What's so valuable about these students? Biotically, I mean. Well, what's scarier than a pissed-off biotic attacker? A whole bunch of them working together. <laughs> it's like a biotic artillery strike. Any asshole gets in our way, we rip him to shreds. Doesn't that exhaust them? Yeah, sure. But we've been working on conditioning, improving endurance. Whenever they complain, I tell them about the collector base. Throwing husks around, making shockwaves all over <laughs> the place. Ugh. I kept thinking, damn, let the Solarian handle this. He can talk them to death. <laughs> oh, man. Stick close. We'll get you out of here. Good. No problems, Jack. We got your back.